Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to set up Kali Linux uh, 2021 in VirtualBox 6. Now, VirtualBox 6 is a hypervisor by Oracle, and it is and it is free to use. So you don't so you don't have to buy this uh, buy this product, and there is no license associated with it. All you have to do is to install VirtualBox, and you can get started. Now, to start um, uh, installing Kali Linux on VirtualBox, what we have to do is to first head over to Kali Linux, Kali.org. This is the official website of Kali Linux. And from here, we have to download the installer. So click on download. And uh, from here, you have to download the Kali Linux 64-bit installer. So this, is the, so this is the file that you have to, to download, and this is about 4 GB in size. So I have already downloaded this, uh, this um, uh, file. Okay, and uh, now what I'm going to do is to is to start the virtual box and then start installing a Kali uh, Linux 2021 on it. So now click on new to create a new virtual machine. Now this uh, opens up create virtual machine uh, wizard. Now first step is to enter your uh, uh, virtual machine name. So we will call this Kali Linux 2021, right? And remember this machine folder. So this is where the virtual machine files would actually be be, um, be created. Okay. Now this is going to be type Linux and under version, we'll have to specify what it is. So it is going to be Debian 64 bit. Okay. Now click on next. So after we click next, we have to specify. We have to specify the uh, RAM that that we want to allocate. So you so saw the what the RAM. So we can give about. Uh, I'm going to give about 8 GB uh, RAM because I have around uh, 24 GB of uh, RAM. So I can I can allocate uh, 8 GB here for this virtual machine. Click on next. Now we have to provide the size of the virtual disk. Right. So let this be um, checked. Create a virtual disk just now. Okay. Click on create. Now choose the first option VDI. Next. Uh, leave this as it is dynamically allocated. Next. Now here we will specify the disk uh, image, the size of the disk that we want to create. Right. So. It is, so I would recommend that we actually use it to create, we use around 60 GB. Normally this is what I do. I use around 60 GB uh, of display. Okay. Now remember this uh, path here. So this is where our virtual machine uh, files will be created. So normally this is placed in your user's directory, which you can go from your desktop. And here you see that we have, we see a virtual box uh, folder now. Okay, and here inside Kali Linux directory, all the file would, files would be placed here as the VM gets as the VM gets created. Okay, so we are done, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, create uh, create the virtual hard disk. Click on create. Okay, so we are done here. Now this is our virtual disk. Virtual machine has been virtual. Uh, machine has been created. Now we have to set this up. So click on settings. Okay, we are not re yet ready to install the uh, to install virtual machine here, Kali Linux here. So we'll have to do support changes. So under general, go to advanced, right, and under snapshot folder, um, make it bi-directional, drag and drop. So we should be able to copy past uh, files from our desktop to uh, the virtual machine. Under description, leave it as it is, no problem. If you want to add anything, you can write it here. Disk encryption would be no. In systems, uncheck floppy disk, okay. RAM is okay. Now under processor, I would uh, I would increase the number of processor to four here, four cores. Now I have i7, right? So, uh, so, I can actually uh, allocate four. So based on the CPU you have got, you can decide. Even if you allocate four, uh, one, one core, one CPU, that's okay. It's just that the process would be a bit slow. The VM would be a bit slow. 
under acceleration uh, leave it as as it is now for display uh, now i have got a graphics card here so no problem i will actually drag it and then allocate maximum video memory here now under acceleration i would enable um, cd acceleration okay now for uh, storage now under storage this is where we have to specify our kali linux uh, uh, so our kali linux uh, uh, our, uh, our kali linux iso file which we downloaded before so let's uh, so um, under controller ide empty right now select this box here now choose create a virtual optical disk okay and here we add, we add the uh, the iso image so head over to where you have stored uh, the iso image click on open okay choose okay now you would see that we have this kali linux 2021.1 installed chosen here okay now um, audio is okay network is also okay serial port is also okay no problem we don't have to do usb is also okay pad folder is also okay user interface is also okay now click on okay now what we are going to do is to uh, is to start the virtual machine so click on start now this will pop out a window where the where we'll see the installation would actually begin so click on start now you see this is where our installation would actually start okay so this is the vm starting up now um, under graphic so choose graphic install click on okay capture all right and then uh, click on graphic install enter press enter and then now wait for um, the process to start actually Okay, now you see that the cursor is inside uh, inside the VM. Now I won't be able to go out. Okay, it it works. It's okay. So the the pointer integration is actually working now. So okay, now choose the language. So I would uh, go ahead with English. Click on continue. I would choose the location. So choose wherever you are. So based on this, the clock would be adjusted, right? So I'm in India. So click on continue now go ahead and then connect and then click on the keyboard so american english uses the qwert keyboard which is the standard english keyboard so click on continue so you can choose any keyboard that uh, you wish to use so for me it would be american english click on continue now the process would begin now you see some things would happen now Now this will load the additional component from the installation media. Now it is reading the ISO image. Now we'll have to provide the host name leave it as it is click on continue now again we have to give the domain name so since we are using it for our personal use so choose any name you want i would use example.com now click on continue now here we have to set up the user and password so to enter the name of the user so i would enter my name here as the user because this is a user i would be creating click on continue now this is going to be the the username of your account so leave it as it is click on continue now here we have to set up the password for the use user that we would, would be creating so i would enter the password now this part password will be used to login to kali linux once the installation completes 
So now wait for the process to complete. Now here we'll have to specify the partition. So click on guided use entire disk, click continue. Now this is okay. Now here you see the total disk, disk allocated is 64.3 GB. So this is virtual box, uh, virtual box hard disk. Click on continue. Now uh, we'll have to select the partition. So leave it as it is. Click on continue. Now uh, choose finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Let, let it be as it is. Click on continue to go ahead. Now write changes to disk. Yes. Click on continue to proceed with the partitioning. Now the disk partition would start. Now you see now in the hard disk that we have created for this virtual machine, uh, this installation um, has actually started. This is actually extracting the files. So wait for the process to complete. So this is configuring the APT. So make sure that you are connected to the internet. Now, now we'll have to specify the software that we want to install. So I would be installing everything, right? So right with this, we would be installing the meta packages. So I would choose large here. So this would include ev everything that is that would be a part of default installation, along with some additional additional tools. So in an earlier version of um, Kali Linux installation, um, the file used to get downloaded, right? And it it used to take a very it used to take very long time to install. But with this, uh, there is no uh, there is no need. To, so the installer would not be downloading in for the files, and all the files would would come from the ISO image itself. So the installation time would be would be less. So there is no harm in choosing launch. Click on continue. Now you see. Now, now you see the installation process would actually start. Now this will take some time. So wait for uh, the process to complete. So that's it. Now, now we see that the installation of Grub group bootloader has started. So install install the Grub bootloader. Yes, and then click on continue. Right. So and here we have to specify the path. So here dev slash sda. Check this one and then click on continue. Now this will install the Grub bootloader and then and then the installation would would complete. Now you see that the the installation is actually finishing, and after this, uh, the VM would actually restart. So wait for this process to complete. Now you see that the installation is complete. Click on continue. Now this will restart the VM. Now the VM is restarting. Now we would see the the login screen. So this is the bootloader. Okay. So enter. Now this is the login screen. Provide your username and password. The login and now you should see Kali Linux uh, desktop. Now let me switch to full screen mode here. So machine view full screen mode. Okay. Switch. Now you see we have entered the full screen mode. Now let's check the resolution here. So click on settings, go to settings and see display. Now again, here again, the it shows me the native uh, resolution 1920 by 1080 pixels. This is the native resolution of my desktop also. Now, 
So what we would do is that we will be setting the password for the for the for the root user. So by default, um, root root user is uh, um, only the normal user is actually created during installation. So let me go and check who am I. Now you would see my username here. Now let me go sudo su. Okay, enter the password. Okay. Now we are we have entered the root user. Now type this password. Yeah, this command T A S S W D R O T root. P A S S W D root. This will ask you for the root password. So enter the root password here. Confirm. Now we have set the root password. Now we should be able to log in as the root user. So let me switch user. And log in as root. Enter the password that we have set here. Log in, and that's it. We are done. Now we have logged in as a root user. Let me check who am I? Okay. Who am I? I am the root.